Wall Street follows Jordan Belfort as he rises to power in Wall Street and in his inevitable downfall. Now, I was definitely looking forward to Wolf of Wall Street because the trailers look crazy and ecstatic. Just like how Dallas Buyers Club was crazy and ecstatic with the trailers. But Dallas Buyers Club was a little bit more grounded. And with Wolf of Wall Street, the trailers is like a prelude to what the movie actually is. What you see in the trailers is an exact representation of the actual movie. This is the craziest Mark Scorsese movie you would ever see. Hands down, I put my life on that because for a three hour movie, you don't feel bored by it. The reason why you don't feel bored by it is because of, again, Mark Scorsese uses Leonardo DiCaprio and Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie carry the entire movie for three hours because the character he played was eccentric, ecstatic, and downright crazy at times. And this movie also stars Jonah Hill, who definitely gave a good performance in here too as well. Because looking at Leo and Jonah Hill in this movie, they reminded me of a young Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci in Goodfellas and Raging Bull and Casino. You know, I don't like to see them too much, but if Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci were younger, you could see them in this type of movie. This movie just lives up to the hype. I mean, a, a lot of times you go into trailers, okay, you look at the trailers, the trailers look great, and sometimes the trailers are better than the movie. I mean, the character Leonardo DiCaprio plays in this movie is just outright eccentric, crazy, and everything you can think of. Any drug you can name, he took. Cocaine, Valium, everything. Any drug that was out there, he took. And this movie is rated R. And it definitely deserves rated R because Marcus Scorsese pushes the envelope of it being R. And this was an edited down version of the movie. And if this movie is that crazy edited down, you can imagine the unedited version of this movie. Like I said before, Leonardo DiCaprio plays an eccentric character and he carries the movie for three hours. For an actor to carry the movie for three hours, not a lot of actors can do that nowadays. And I definitely think he gets he deserves to be nominated for it. May not win, but in my personal opinion, I think he deserves to be nominated at least. Even with Jonah Hill too, I thought he was good in his performance because he did remind me of a young Joe Pesci, like I said before. The only issue I really had with this movie, it's not even the runtime, is the fact that it's a little bit more style over substance. But other than that, The Wolf of Wall Street lives up to the hype of being one of the best pitches of the year. And for, like I said before, for a three hour movie, it kept you entertained. And that's a two thumbs up for Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio. So, I mean, and guarantee it, this is one of the craziest Mark Scorsese movies you were ever seen, period. It's the truth. And I put my, I put my life on it because, like I said before, it pushes the hard art. It's on the thin line of being NC-17. With that being said, The Wolf of Wall Street delivers on a high note, no pun intended. So I'm giving The Wolf of Wall Street four and a half out of five stars. So if you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street, did you like it? Hate it, enjoyed it, comment below. So as always guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Movie Nation.